G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography. In this series of videos, we're going to look at simple solutions to the common Photoshop problems. Okay, so if you have a Photoshop issue, feel free to send me an email to adam at easywayphotography.com. Send me a description of the issue that you're having, plus a copy of the image say 2,000 or 3,000 pixels wide and I just might choose your particular issue as a feature on my YouTube channel. Okay so let's move over to the image I have open here. I have this beautiful image from Aidan Haynes and he asked is there an easy solution for removing this green section okay those trees between the sand dune and the horizon there leaving this image much more simplified as just a sand dune and a sky without that extra element. And I think I have a pretty simple solution for fixing up this Photoshop problem for Aiden. Well, it's not really a Photoshop problem as much as uh, a solution to something that Aiden wants done. Okay, so first of all, we're going to duplicate the background layer. So to do that, we press Command or Control J. Okay, J. And then we're going to select the quick selection tool because the way that I'm going to fix this up and make that green section disappear is by making a selection of the sand dune and then stretching the sky downwards over the top of that green dark detail that we don't really want there. So now that we have that duplicate layer there, layer one, we're going to click on the quick selection tool. Okay, you can also press W as a shortcut on the keyboard and what we're going to do is use the quick selection tool to make a selection of the sand dune and it's relatively easy you just click and drag along now you can see I have this little area that's kind of stepped outside the selection relatively easy to fix if we hold down option or alt you'll notice the quick selection tool changes from a plus symbol to a minus symbol and I can just push that area back like so that looks pretty good okay so now we have this rather rough selection there it's not particularly refined just yet so to refine it we're going to click on the select and mask icon up the top here now this is a feature that's relatively recent to photoshop i think it came in in version photoshop cc 2015 so if you're not using one of the later CC versions of Photoshop, this is an excellent reason to upgrade. Okay, if we zoom in here, you might be able to see uh, just along this edge, the mask is okay, but it's a bit jagged. Okay, see those kind of steps there? And keep in mind that this is a relatively low resolution image. But to fix that up, and I won't go into the full details because the full details can be found at easywayphotography.com. All we need to do to refine this relatively simple edge here of the sand dune is to grab the radius slider here and move that up to around 10 pixels. And did you see that? It just kind of cleaned up that edge absolutely beautifully. So have a look down here. You can see that little sort of darkish line where the mask is stepping up and down throughout those pixels. When we move the radius slider up to around 10, look how clean that is now. Much cleaner than it was before. Go ahead and click OK. And we now have a much more refined mask there. The next step, making sure that our layer one is selected, like it is there with that gray highlight there. Click on a new layer mask. Okay, like so. Now, although we wanted a selection or a mask of the sand dune, we actually need to invert this mask so that the sky is now being shown. So to do that, we press Command or Control I, and you'll notice this mask will reverse. So the black areas will become white, and the white areas will become black, like so. Then go ahead and click on the little icon of layer one. Okay, so where you can see that picture of layer one there, we press command or control T for free transform. 
This will allow us to transform that particular layer. And then I'm just going to click on the bottom of the box here and drag down. Now that's not working and I'm glad it's not because I forgot a step. So press Command or Control Z to go back. And is it going to let me unclip? No. I'll also press the no thank you icon up the top here. Cancel free transform. And what I need to do is unclip. So you've got this little paper clip that clips the image to the mask. I need to unclip. So this way the mask won't be free transformed whilst the image of that particular layer will be. Once again, Command or Control T for free transform. And this time when I drag that down, you'll notice the mask will stay where it is. Okay, notice the sand dune stays exactly there. And we can drag that ugly green area down below the horizon of the sand dune like so. We can then click thank you very much up the top here to accept that free transform. And we have essentially managed to do what Aiden was asking to remove that ugly green section and simplify the image so it's just sand dune and sky. And it's a pretty good job. We'll move in there. The mask isn't absolutely perfect though. See, there's still some areas that aren't perfect. And again, this has a lot to do with the fact that I'm working with a low resolution image. You'll find that this particular technique will work much better on a high resolution image, but it's not the end of the world either. We can click back on our mask here, go and select our brush tool, and then we can paint with black and white to just tidy up the mask a little bit. Now you can see I've changed the opacity and flow to 100%. And then I also like to change the hardness when I'm doing this kind of refining mask work to maybe around 80%. And then if we scroll over to the edge, and I'm going to change the brush to white here, making it a little smaller using the square bracket keys there. And yeah, sorry, I want to change that mask or that brush to white. We can just sort of just come along that edge and paint off those areas. Now I can also click in one area and hold down shift and it will kind of join the dots between the brush strokes, which can be quite handy and see how much better that's becoming just by tidying up some of those areas. Let's do smaller join of the dots here. As I said, you might not need to do this kind of work uh, on a high res image. It might, it would more than likely give you a much better job than this kind of artifacting that's happening on this low res image here. But it's not the end of the world. We just come in here and tidy that up. I mean, of course, if we're only posting a low res image onto Instagram or whatnot, look, it probably doesn't matter, but it's nice to do uh, the job properly, I think. Little dark patches above the sand dune there that are just kind of making it look a little bit off. Yeah, that's looking great. Okay, so I'm just holding shift. So I click once, then hold shift, and it kind of draws a straight line between the dots. I can, on this one, I can, uh, it looks like I haven't quite dragged the sky down far enough. You can see there's a little dark section poking up above the horizon. I'll fix that up in a minute. And one last one, that looks pretty good. And as I said, click back on that image, Command or Control T for free transform. Just zoom back out, drag that sky down a little. There it goes. Click on the thank you very much at the top. And if we zoom in now, okay, so we're at 100% there, looking absolutely perfect. So a pretty simple solution to Aiden's problem. 
and the image in my opinion is much much stronger than it was before. Thank you again for watching along and as I said feel free to send me your particular Photoshop issue to adam at easywayphotography.com. Thanks for watching along and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Bye for now.